Hi there, sign of Aries. This is Kim here to do your monthly reading. This is your December reading, 2022. I hope you're doing really well today. I hope that fan isn't too loud for you. I've got to have some air circulating in here. I just got to, no matter what temperature it is. <sighs> All right, so the Rider Weight Tarot is what we're going to use. Let's get right into your reading for Aries. Reading for Aries. Interesting. That was what, um, that's the card that came out for Leo's, um, the spot for how Leo fell, which was like, um, there was something that was just being done. Have you ever seen, there's a, that book, it says Bass Ackwards, something's done Bass Ackwards. <laughs> just completely like, what? Why are we doing it this way? That's the kind of energy I'm getting. All right, so Aries, let's see what we've got. For December, general messages. Only take them if they resonate with you. We have the High Priestess. Well, that should resonate with you because that's really knowing, you know, um, intuitively. It's like saying intuitively I'm right. <laughs> right? All right? Intuitively you're right. Nice. Nice. Really nice. Same. Same spot for Leah. Good grief. The same spot, y'all. The same spot. Whew. Well, you got a better reading than Leo's, but, you know... Okay, it's the high priestess energy. It's the she just knows energy. Wow. Wow, if you're looking for a mixture of everything for December, you kind of have it. You have the growth. You have, um, you have the energy of having to move past a hard time here. And that was past energy by the time I guess you get to December, whatever it will be, it will be kind of like past energy. Um, the Two of Swords. Tell me more about the Two of Swords, please. The Seven of Swords in reverse. Same freaking card. <laughs> Across from each other. Meaning, um, wow, how you see poetically, I can say this so many cool ways, but basically, it's saying that look, if you're looking for some kind of sneakiness, or if you're looking for a tactic or any kind of underlying anything, probably not gonna find it here. Not, not with whatever this path has. If you look at this path from west to east, we have. Um, nothing but clear discernment announcements from your spirit team with judgment, um, second chances, forgiveness, mercy, grace. A new perspective is seen as the challenge. Your whole reading I could probably do in like one, one long um, fragmented sentence. Meaning, like, you don't have too many breaks of anything that could lead to something being off. And I, and this is as honest as can be, the only thing off about your whole reading is the card that represents what you and, I'd say, what Leo had for December, too. Which is the Page of Pentacles in reverse, which is, look, you're doing something that's familiar that other people have done before. Why are you doing it this way? And it's just that question mark. It's like the emoji, you know? I don't I don't know. 
Why are you doing it that way? Strange. Okay, so the King of Wands is at the heart of the matter. The Judgment, the Nine of Pentacles being at the uh, energy crowning. Has to do with, um, wow, somebody's really keeping a not-so-traditional commitment um, to how their pentacles come in and how they receive their money. They're making stuff manifest. And if this is you, this is at your heart of the matter, then the heart of the matter is that you have this heart here that's not going to let you fail to manifest. Even if a traditional roadblock is put in your way, as as with the Two of Swords, when a roadblock gets put in your way, um, you find clear, non-sneaky ways to do things, and, and it will pull you out on top. You're pulled out on top. These... The Nine of Pentacles is, it is a reward in a sense, but it's, you know, for your efforts. Um, doesn't always have to be, though. It's just, it's a financial windfall because you've got the Magician here, too. In the environment, I would say that the energy for um, making things manifest, you know how sometimes there's just points in your life where everything seemed to Oh, it's one good thing after another, and it keeps happening and happening and happening. It's like that is what this is. It's like first there'll be an announcement of something really great, right? It's 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 going past a hurdle in a very um, wise way, clear way, non-traditional, and it works. And it inspires others to do the same and to do good for themselves, too. And inspires others to know that they, they too, can pull themselves out of um, maybe what was a hard time. I don't know if it was hard. If it's what's been harder is... I think what's been harder is, is seeing that everything is actually going okay. Because the hangman energy kind of is looking around, you know, like, okay, well, what's what's going on in this waiting period? Kind of like this, but what's confusing is maybe the amount of success. It's just really good. It's really good, and it is inspirational. Um, wow, what are you building, and what ends up being so great? Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. The things that we don't know about ourselves sometimes with the moon in reverse are those things that you will definitely reflect on and find out more in the month of December regarding yourself and your own intuition. I think you're going to learn how to trust yourself and your own gifts a little bit more. It depends on how much faith you have in the unseen. So this could, you could have a little bit of a test of faith um, in the sense that everything could be going really great. And then your test is, let's, let's not question this. <laughs> let's not question it. Let's enjoy it. Um, yeah, and then you got the, ten, I mean, come on, guys. Ten of Pentacles here for the future energy. It's everybody having um, what they, you know, getting the wealth that they deserve, but being able to help everybody. Being able to kind of like spread the love around. There you go. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, too. It's going to be clarified by having it or not having it. You still have this great big support. This is a total, um, it's going to be almost reimagined, I think the way that that we can pass around things the way that people can have things constant change and transformation yep death card in reverse this is going to put an end to maybe some long or deeply rooted uh family issues i think it'll put to rest some issues I feel like the manifest 
your manifestations are always uh, transforming, like continuously. Tell us more about this new perspective, though. The new perspective is that for some reason you don't feel like you should be getting a lot of praise, but you should. The Six of Wands in the reverse is like, no, there is attention that's being given to you. And um, so it's like a don't be shy now, you know, except um, that you've done a really great job here. Wow. So you're thinking about the Seven of Swords in reverse. So, well, you're just, you're thinking about how everything went in a very clear not even necessarily calculated way. Like everything just ended up coming out in a nice way. Another nine of pentacles, guys. This could be a money month for you. The four of pentacles here with the ace of cups. You have the chance, whoa. I feel like it's to bank, to bank on some money. I really do. Oh well, yeah, I'm probably right, the ace of pentacles. I feel like you're gonna have an opportunity to bank some money. Um, to to put an investment yeah to so open up to more possibilities here because there is a surprise oh look it's a surprise three aces it's a surprise freaking investment and it's also a surprise of you coming out of your hole per se and people saying hey congratulations you get you get attention for what a great job you've done and you get all of these freaking opportunities wow I can't get over this reading. This reading is really good. I, I could like go on and on and on and say these are just opportunity after opportunity, but it's just stressing that um, there's something that you need to be open up to. You need to be open up to the idea that sometimes things can be easy without any kind of sneakiness here because once you open up to all possibilities and let your own intuition guide you, my Lord, you're going to have a great month. You're going to have a great month. So what I got to say. So I'm going to pull one of these um, Wisdom of the Ages. That's what this is called. The Wisdom through of the Ages card. They're about various topics from death to rebirth to, you know, all that good stuff that these cards talk about. This one is about energy. Okay, it says energy. Berea. Energy protects one from complacency, fear, and discouragement. It's the antidote to procrastination and distraction. Energy is reaching deep inside ourselves and connect, reconnecting with our highest purpose again and again. Energy is aroused when we maintain interest, whether it be interest in our breath or the parade of life as it marches by. Energy is the antidote to despair. It strengthens our inner resolve and the belief that we can make a difference in the world. Energy is not straining or striving. It is balanced and appropriate, knowing when to relax and when to move forward. Energy is not being constantly busy, but busyness is the distraction from mindfulness and the quest towards awakening. I have I have faith in myself and therefore the energy to pursue my worldly and spiritual goals. I know what needs to be done through steady determination. I continue on the path knowing that everything is waiting for me. When I focus my effort on serving others, I alleviate suffering and I find ease and happiness all in energy. Energy. Three aces. What you gonna do? Those three aces. Nice. Five, five, five. Big changes. So I have 55 substantial changes in your future. Embrace the change and need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. It says, I am evolving. And number five, it says, flexibility is your forte. 
when life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt and find new circumstances, excitement in the change, be brave and bold in all your endeavors. Number five, I am adaptable. And that's what I've got for you, Aries. Looking really good for the, for the uh, month of December 2022. Send you love and light. Bye-bye.